Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging Tutorial. This one is on simple letter shapes for use in logos. This is a made up font, I've got ABC written here. If you want to follow along at home quickly, the artboard is 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high. And the color swatches to add are here. It's a CMYK color um, board. So you're gonna have two oranges and two blues. We'll come to the radial gradient and the linear gradient. But if you just wanna press pause, add these colors to your swatches. If you wanna press pause as well, you need to see stroke, gradient, align, pathfinder, that kind of thing. You can go up to windows and see what I've got ticked there. Also a good one to do is smart guides and snap to point. So if you get that set up now, we'll crack on. Okay, first thing I'll do is take these three and just shrink them down, get them out of the way so we can use them as a reference. First thing, up to Ellipse Tool, the shortcut's L. So you're going to just click and hold Shift and Alt, which will get you a circle. I'm going to switch mine just to a plain orange rather than a gradient. And I'm going to go over here to the fill color. I'm going to switch it for a stroke color. So my stroke color now needs to be 100 pixels in weight. And if you go to Transform, I want the height to be 350. Now I'm going to just switch on my guys, but guides by pressing command colon. And once I've got that there, I'm going to go up to object and expand. Click OK. You can, if you can't see your rulers, press command R and the rulers will appear. If you hover over the ruler and click and drag, you'll drag a guide. So you can drag one to the top and the bottom. And just for useful reference the next guide is 215 pixels up and that one's 215 pixels down that's in case you're doing um, the up on the B or a P or something like that so you know how far to go up so let's crack on with this A and from here you're going to select the radial tool again click and drag holding alt and shift until it snaps into that first circle and we're going to just drag this one up so it's just overlapping. If I change it to the darker orange, you can see where it is. So before I do anything, I'm going to select this first shape and I'm going to press Command C. And that's just going to copy it. So I'm going to select this shape and then press Shift on the other shape. Pathfinder, minus front. So that gives me a crescent. Then I'm going to Command Shift V, which gives me another shape. It's just pasted in front of it, so don't worry about that. And we're going to send it back one. So Command left square bracket. In fact, command shift left square bracket and then command right square bracket. You can't see it, so let's press the gradient on this one. And we're going to just reverse this gradient over here. So once we've got that, we can see we've got the first cut in. We need another cut part of the sort of spiral here. So we're going to go back to the radial tool again in the center, if you can find it. And click and drag out till it snaps in. And this time we're going to go up to the top left and click and drag. So about there. So same thing, select this one and then hold shift and select this one that we just pasted. Minus front again. And if you just command and the left square bracket, it'll just send it one behind. So now you can see we've got two. If you command shift V again, we've got that big shape back. We're gonna send that to the back with command shift left square bracket and command right square bracket. It'll bring it back up one. So let's press the gradient on this one as well. And if we press the gradient, we just want to fill this in. So it's somewhere like that, sort of top to bottom diagonally. You can see a good contrast between there. So that's that's a good start to our shape. Next thing we're going to go onto the rectangle. And we're going to draw a rectangle starting here and down to that line. It should be, if you go to transform, it should be 100 pixels wide. So you can actually put that in manually if it helps. And if we zoom in. We can also select these two and use the horizontal align tool. So once you've got that bit done, select this shape with A and select the bottom right hand corner. And you'll see it's just that one corner that we're going to round off. You'll see this little circle round corner. So drag that in like that and that gets our round corner. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we need to combine some shapes. So if I, there's a few ways of doing this, but if you select everything with V and then go to the shape builder, 
you can see this is going to allow us to combine these shapes. So just click here and drag up through these shapes, zigzag over those, and that's made that shape that we want. If we then click and drag up through here, that's made that shape. If you zoom in just a tiny bit, you can see there's a little snippet there and these funny lines here that we can get rid of. So zoom back out. So now we've got our shapes. That's a pretty good looking A. We can play around with the gradient here so it gets us to where we need it. And then if you just grab everything there, press Command G, that groups it together and we'll just shift slide that over. To do the B, very simple, we're just going to press Alt, click, shift and drag this one and then we're going to use the reflect tool and reflect it horizontally. We can then with the direct select just select that one these points and click and hold shift and drag it up drag it up to the top there <laughs> see if it snaps in place there we go snap so the b was really simple and to do the c i'm going to start with um the a so i'm going to select everything alt shift click alt click and shift over here and we want to get rid of this one because we don't need that one in there I know that looks a bit of a mess at the minute don't panic we've still got our circle so if you command shift V we've still got the circle that we started with so let's use this and just get it into place there and we'll command shift left square bracket command right square bracket so that's sending it to the back and then bringing it forward one now for the C, we can we can get we've got two shapes here. We can direct select this one and get rid of it because we don't necessarily need it. Um, we can rotate this round 180 degrees, and we can select the shape and pop the gradient in there. Probably drag it from sort of top to bottom. That looks about right. So then we're going to grab the rectangle tool, draw a quick rectangle. We want to make the height 100 and we want to move it until it intersects. So then select these two shapes and Pathfinder minus front. Again, it's just jumped to the front, so don't worry, command left square bracket a few times and it'll pop back behind there. Now on this one, we want to select this corner and this corner. So press A, drag it over there, hold shift and drag it over there. And then let's round these off until it goes to the maximum. And that's our C. So we'll just get rid of the guides. We've got A, B, C. You can keep going, do as many as you like, but that is the basic principles. From there, you should be able to do quite a lot of the letters. If you want a G, you can flip that round and use the bottom of the curve um, and so on. There'll be a few more complicated ones like the S and that kind of thing, but those are the basic principles of, of how to do simple logo letters. If that was useful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. <laughs>